I'm thankful for my family. Thankful for God and what He's done for me. Thankful, thankful for my people. Thankful for my mom. Life thankful too. for the life NBA. My friends. And my family it's just made my life a lot thankful better. Thankful for BD TV. Good morning, I'm Vanessa Ticino. I'm Victoria Cuevas. And as we get into the holidays, we ask ourselves what thankfulness really is. The textbook definition is to express gratitude. This week on BUTV, we're going to show how you can display it all around the world. So what are you thankful for? Uh, one thing I'm thankful for is um, family. Also thankful for friends, um, health, and um, just having fun with life. Um, also importantly, um, hair care products because you need them a lot. I am thankful for my wife's patience and my dog. This time of year, I'm very thankful for my wife who supports me in everything I do, no matter how busy I get or how many projects I get into. Um, my coworkers like Jericho Hughes, who works with me on the musical, which is like my favorite thing to do all year. It's these kind of times that even when it gets super busy around the holidays that I look back and I go, I get to do a lot of cool stuff. And I think that's the thing I'm the most thankful for is the opportunities that I get. Diversity. The embracement of individuals representing more than one national origin, race, religion, socioeconomic status, and sexual orientation. Ben Davis's diversity is something students throughout the school should be thankful for. Diversity is shown in the hallways, classrooms, throughout the school, and even the district. According to Niche.com, Ben Davis High School is ranked number six for the most diverse school in Indiana and number four for the most diverse township in Indiana. Growing up in a town that is racially and culturally diverse is very important because you get to understand different perspectives, experiences, the list goes on and on. In 2017, the website Public School Review recorded that Ben Davis has a population of 6% two or more races, 24% Hispanic, 35% black, and 35% white, proving that Ben Davis is racially diverse. Speaking about diversity, let's head over to Kira to talk about various meals made during the holidays. For BDTV, I'm Jaden Christner. One of the very unique aspects of Ben Davis is how diverse it is, like Jaden mentioned. The different foods we eat show how diverse we actually are. One food that stands out in my family is biscuits and syrup. You will need biscuits. You can make them however you want. Light corn syrup and butter. First, we're going to start out by making the dip. Start out by using a fork to place some butter on a plate. Make sure you don't use a ton of butter though. Next, apply some corn syrup over the butter. Then. Smash the butter and mix it together accordingly. It should come out looking like a thick and sticky paste. Grab a biscuit and break it either in half or in pieces. Then you dip and enjoy. While this is just my family's tradition of food, there are many more and many different cultures. Kira Goss, BD TV. Thanks, Kira. There are many things that we should be thankful for, whether that's family, friends, or school. In this case, have you ever thought about being thankful for your body? This Thanksgiving, I think we should give thanks to one thing, and that is our body. In this segment, I will be doing different types of yoga poses, all while giving you guys tips on how to take care of your body this holiday season. Tip number one, exercise. Exercising does more than increase weight loss. It can also stop things such as high blood pressure, strokes, and heart issues. Tip number two, sleep. The average adult should be getting seven to eight hours of sleep. Tip number three, hydration. Dehydration recently has been linked to mood swings and energy loss. Tip number four, last but not least, dental health. Lately, dental health has been linked to heart problems and life expense. That's a good reason to go see your dentist. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys learned some new body facts. And this is Dana Wilson, BD TV.
advantage of what we have, but we should acknowledge how thankful we actually are. Are you thankful enough? Are we actually thankful for the things we receive? We get so caught up, we forget to see what we retrieve. Our parents guide us every step of the way. I wake up healthy every day. There's a roof over my head, and most of all, I'm not dead. So right now, just take a step back. Please thank someone for their kind acts. And when life is going bad, please remember, this too shall pass. Do you have homework to catch up on or studying to do? Well, late buses are starting on December 2nd to the 19th. The buses will be leaving promptly at 5 p.m., Monday through Thursday. Use this opportunity as much as you can. An hour and a half of studying or catching up can help you a ton. Black Friday shopping begins on November 29th here in the United States. Black Friday originated in Philadelphia due to all of the early Christmas shopping done after Thanksgiving. Although Black Friday shopping could be tons of fun, it could also end in a harmful experience. Make sure you stay safe and make smart decisions. Now let's check into some popular locations for Black Friday shopping. Some of the most popular locations are JCPenney, Macy's, Kohl's, and Menards, which also offer online shopping. And some of the top deal stores are Best Buy, Meijer, Target, and Walmart. Signing off, Kalia Wainwright, BD TV. Thanks, Kalia. All of us handle hardships in different ways. Here's Marshawn to tell us an inspirational story about one of our very own. What I'm thankful for is the opportunities I have in school, at home, and in life. Thankful enough because whenever they need me to do anything, I'm quick to do it. I'm thankful enough because they support me in whatever I do, how I do it, and who I am. I am thankful for uh, family, right? as well as a good, solid um, kind of upbringing. I think that um, everyone can be uh, more thankful. You know, a lot of it is based on maturity and respect. So we need to hear, you know, that um, they're appreciated, or kind of that I am thankful because there's times too where we all kind of get in a negative rut and focus on things um, maybe that we can't control and we kind of just need to uh, show the appreciation or the gratitude and take more of the positive side because things could always be worse. Marshawn Porter, BD TV. <laughs> With Thanksgiving coming up, it is important to be thankful. Although sometimes it can be confusing on what thankfulness looks like, here are some tips on how to show gratitude. Make sure you recognize the people who are the most reliable. Always having a shoulder to lean on is something we are all thankful for. Feedback is certainly something many people find helpful. Whether it is positive or constructive, make sure it's timely and appropriate. Don't be afraid to show some emotion. Maybe reaching out to a friend who seems a little bit off could be uplifting. Finally, don't forget to be thankful for yourself. Live every day to the fullest and don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back every once in a while. You deserve it. For BDTV, I'm Madison Gaimon. Little acts of kindness. We see them every day. These acts of selflessness have been ingrained into our lives. They're everywhere. However, these acts of kindness should not be done in vain. They come from the sweetest of places. Show your appreciation. Be thankful. Because before you know it, they could be gone. Thankfulness can be shown in many ways. Things as little as thanking someone for holding the door open or just giving recognition to someone who deserves it. How can you display thankfulness? I want to give a big thanks to all the staff members that work here at Ben Davis, from the people that work in the main office, student services, athletic office, all the teachers and janitors. Without you guys, there is no Ben Davis. 
So we want to thank all the staff members that work here to make our school great. Agent Reese, BD TV. Holiday travel can be at its worst, especially during Christmas and Thanksgiving, land or air. Here are some tips on how to avoid it. If you are flying, try to make the trip on Thanksgiving. Not only is it most likely to be less crowded at the airport, but you might be able to snag a price deal on ticket cost. Book plane tickets well in advance. Airplanes seat fewer and fewer people these days. Also, allow at least one hour between connecting flights if you're going to connect. If you are driving, plan on stopping frequently when driving because traffic will be crowded. From BDTV, I'm Alex Meinzinger. Hello Giants and Happy Thanksgiving. Today we're going to be learning how three different cultures celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm Madison Gaimon, I'm white and my family is Catholic. Hi, my name is Michelle De La Rosa, y soy mexicana y soy católica. My name is Sharon Newsom, I'm African American and I'm a Christian. We have people come in from like out of state for our Thanksgiving. It's so big that we actually rent out like a church gym. We just like all get together. At nights we do karaoke, have fun, dance around a little bit to some songs in Spanish and it's like really fun. We play cards, spades, all that. Ours is huge. A lot of people come. There's probably around 80 people that attend our Thanksgiving every year. We eat more later on in the day. We eat like around probably eight or nine, depends, because usually Hispanics we come really late. They say dinner starts at six, we show up at eight, and the food's still not done. Have a great and safe Thanksgiving, Giants. Jennifer Moreno, BDT. Thank you, Jenny. Diversity is something that we should all be thankful for. Here in Indianapolis, there are plenty of ways to lend a hand. Here's Bailey with some volunteering opportunities downtown. Every year, there are an estimated 5,258 people homeless. 3,776 are individuals. I went to downtown Indianapolis to hand out food to individuals on the street. When I asked some of them what they're doing for the holidays, I got a variety of answers. This is my first time I've not had anything to validate. What are you doing for the holidays? Now here. <laughs> here, chilling. Yeah. All right, well. Uh, you don't know yet? No, we're sitting here. Yeah. All right, well, happy Thanksgiving. You never know the kind of things people are going through. From BDTV, I'm Bailey Moore. <laughs> hey, Sherry, I heard you had another kid. One, three, and no. Well, at least I don't live on the streets. Well, at least I ain't got four mouths to feed. I know where all my kids are at. Timmy's in the kitchen, Ethan and Barbara in the living room, and Timmy, or Timmy. Timmy, where you at? to this week's newscast. We hope we showed you what thankfulness really is and how we can display it around the community. Keep in mind to be appreciative of your family and peers. Happy holidays. And remember, if, if it's, it's about, about you and me, it's on BDTV.